Oh yeah, it's the weekend, and you know what that means. It's time for the most entertaining hour of your weekend. It's time for Pixels and Bits on the Overshield.com with your hosts, Corey, Andrew, and Tommy. And now broadcasting from Planet Earth, it's time for Pixels and Bits. Pixels and bits on the overshow.com. My name is Corey, and I spoke really fucking fast. Yes. Pardon my did. French. Anyways, welcome to what is this, episode 29? I believe it is 28. Episode... Oh, it's 28. it's 28. All right. Yeah, episode 28. We're almost to 30. We're getting closer, getting a little closer. Um, Andrew's not here. Um, he, he has some lame excuse, really lame. Uh, I hear he's out pimping the hose in Amsterdam and this and that. and uh, that's just lame, man. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> no. I saw an article, which I think would have been a perfect excuse for Andrew's absence. Oh? There is a virgin sex doll. Right now it is Sparks 100,000... Dollars bidding war just to deflower deep fl- deep this sex doll. Oh my god. Yeah, so I, I saw this, and then as soon as Andrew's not here, I just thought that would be hilarious. Reason he could not be oh. here was bidding on the doll. Guys, I gotta get it! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's time to move on to the Overshield News Desk. Hit the music! <laughs> Wait, we got a beat bus. <laughs> Anyways, got a bunch of stories and we're going to go through these. Uh, first, we got game announcements. Lost Planet 3 has an official release date. Eh. Yeah, June 28th. All right. Capcom, don't disappoint. I don't know. I mean, I love the first one a lot, and then the second one, I just... Second one, it, I love the first one, second one... It sucked. It really sucked. And, like, I love Lost Planet's multiplayer. Like, in my opinion, that was, like, one of the best multiplayers I ever played. In my opinion, for a while. And so, but, yeah. Yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, next story, and we're moving through these quickly. Activision shows off a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. It is a beat-em-up game with a more realistic version of the turtles, so they more, look more like turtles a little bit. I, I think it'd be hilarious if it was literally you just played as a turtle with a bandana on his head. Just <laughs> Seriously, that'd be the best mod ever. Just turtles, just little tiny like turtles just kicking people's asses. That'd be awesome. Um, it's, it's a downloadable game that'll be out on XBLA, PSN, and Steam uh, sometime this summer. All right, that's cool. Hopefully, it's exciting and fun. Oh, uh, hopefully, hopefully it's better than TMNT Reshelled. Yes, that game sucks. Of course. Um, I, have you? Okay, next story. Uh, you, did you ever play the The Walking Dead from Telltale? Um, no, but uh, my brother has, so I've seen him play it. So I, it's... I don't have to. I didn't play it because I just watched my brother played it. Well, yeah. it was. Uh, they've announced that there were that season two. Is set to arrive in fall of this year. Wow, that's cool. That's exciting. Yeah, uh, there, because there was a rumored report that it was going to come out fall of next year, but that does not doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm really interested to see how the how this works out with like how your decision because like Tales, Tales games of like uh, the Walking Dead game in particular revolves around. Um, your impact with your, like your decisions and everything. So I'm curious to see how much more of the replayability is added to it because of like how much of your decisions carry over to season from season one to season two. So I mean, it'll be similar to Mass Effect, obviously. Yeah, but um, more but more man tears will be shed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I didn't cry. I, well, that's not true. I cried once in Mass Effect. I 
cried once, and that was actually the beginning of Mass Effect 3. The little child. The child that died. Ah, uh, yeah. And I got my teary eyed, and that was just the demo. When I played the demo. That was just the, that was just the goddamn demo, man! <laughs> Game is full of emotion. Oh. Next story. Um, I think everybody knows that SimCity has been their the launch has been completely botched by EA. Yeah. Well, it's been so bad that SimCity has been pulled from Amazon.com. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And then uh, EA has announced that they're also pulling all ads from online publications because in retaliation. So now there's a dick swinging contest going on as well. It's like it's 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 it's, it's get uh, SimCity. This whole thing could have been handled so much better if EA didn't include the online DRM. I mean, like the fact that you have to even connect to their servers is not bad enough. But the fact that your saves aren't stored on your computer, they're stored on servers. And guess what? If the server crashes, your saves are gone. So that's stupid. It's really dumb. It's really dumb. And this is proof why EA and Origin is completely retarded. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. But guess what? Next story, EA does even something stupider. Oh, boy. Crisis 3 was about to release on the Wii U. Okay. Crytek actually developed a Wii U version, but guess when in the and what happened was is the reason they had to cancel it is because they wanted to integrate the online system into the Wii U, but Nintendo refused the deal. So why? Well, of course it's EA. Nintendo and EA refused to get along after Nintendo told EA, "No, you're not putting Origin on our system." Hmm. And so EA's like. Okay, fine, we will just give you Crisis 3, and Nintendo's like, what the fuck ever? <sighs> I don't think Nintendo cares. I don't think so either. It's not like EA's their biggest thing ever, it isn't. Hardly. Not to the Nintendo. Nintendo doesn't give two shits, <laughs> really, about... I, 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 Nintendo, like, they can just publish their own games and be fine. I know. Well, with they, Mar they, a bunch of Mario games, and they're fine, they're set. Or put out a Fire Emblem that actually they can meet the demand of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next story. Yeah, I'm done with ranting about EA. Want to move on. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4. We're, we've been talking about that recently. Uh, Tommy, have you been discovering anything new recently? Um, so far, everything we've known has been discussed through uh, a, non, like a lot of sources. We have... Our new assassin is Edward Kenway. He is Connor's grandfather. And he starts off as a pirate and will become an assassin in the video game. Yar, har, fiddle dee dee. You are a pirate. A pirate's life for me. Yar. <laughs> Another thing is. Like, <laughs> there is. Okay, so. There is also a modern for like a modern storyline in Assassin's Creed 4 and people are like, okay, but Desmond's story is done, so who's the new modern hero? Oh spoilers! It's not a spoiler, they talked about this. I didn't say I just they announced that Desmond's story was going to end at EC3. And it's done. They finished it. It's like a trilogy. And now they're focusing on a new character for a modern day, and that is supposedly us. It is us, the character that is going into um, Edward Kenway's, me um, you know, memories. Uh, okay, okay. Just, I'm just saying this though. I'm glad Desmond's story's done because he was a boring piece of shit character. Actually, I disagree. For me, I, I actually am one of those people that enjoyed Desmond's character. I was hoping for just a Desmond standalone, standalone I'll say, game. I'll say I say this though, I cracked a smile when his father punched him in the mouth because when he was being a whiny bitch. <laughs> I mean, you have, I mean, you gotta feel bad for Desmond. I mean, he left the order, you know, because he doesn't want to be a part of it, but it just keeps coming back to get him. I mean, the Templars come and kidnapped him, and he was forced to, you know, as a guinea pig for the Abstergo's biddings. You know, they wanted to. Yeah, find. but I'll say this: his normal life wasn't any better. He was a fucking bartender. That's fun. He can like makes drinks and all that. Eh? Oh well, it's better than. Oh sure, stuff, sure. But... Margarita on the sure here. Yeah, here we go. Scotch on the rocks. Fuck! I killed him again. Sorry. Hey, sorry. The tips must be nice. Who knows? He probably doesn't get any tips. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. 
Anyways, they have a uh, couple new little bits of, about Assassin's Creed 4. Um, creative director Jean Goodson, French. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag will be available on next gen consoles in addition to improved graphics and physics. Next gen versions will bring the players new connected features, allowing them to feel if they remain the single player, it will be better. It will be better to be a single connected player. I mean that the next gen consoles will allow you to have a soul experience that benefits the, that to that benefit the presence of a huge community. Yeah. So it doesn't mean so it means that like basically they're saying like if your if your console is always on online, you will have a better experience. Huh. It do, they did not say, however, um, if it, if you if it's required. I doubt. I doubt it. I doubt they're going to do an EA. Ubisoft's pretty smart. Yeah. I mean, because really, I mean... And, and, they, and they've already come and they've already come out and said that they're actually doing away with Uplay. So they're finally done with that? Yeah, they're done with Uplay. Um, because, they've, because they've realized that just how bad it backlashed. It did. I mean, it's really nothing. It's just small little exclusive items just to get if you unlock achievements. Yeah. I mean, still... which they are nice, but it's just... They're pointless because they're nothing really special. It doesn't add anything. It doesn't add anything, which is good, you know. But you know, for those who's like, then why couldn't you just put it on the game already? Why do we have to, you know, go out of the way to get this if it's gonna affect the story? I mean, it's just like more ammo stuff, like upgrade to upgrade your yeah. gun capacity, get this. Pay to play. Player. Pay to win. Yeah. Pay to win. Yeah. But you don't really have to pay any. Pay anything. Yeah. You just have to put in the time. Yeah. Any, anyways, uh, next little bit is um, uh, PETA <laughs> attacked Assassin's Creed over whaling in the, the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Oh my god. Ubisoft's, Ubisoft's Stone Chin. Yes, that's his real name, Stone Chin. <laughs> mainly his name ever. <laughs> I like this guy already. Um, he says, History is in our background in Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is a work of fiction that depicts the real events during the golden era of pirates. We do not, condo we do not condone illegal whaling, just as we don't condone a pirate lifestyle of poor hygiene, plundering, hijacking ships, and over the, and over the legal limit drunken debauchery. So essentially, f essentially, fuck you. Yeah, pretty much. No offense, but I mean, PETA, it's a video game, all right? They're not. Real. No, it's it's a, it's a, it's a stunt for PETA to get attention, and they're just, God, I'm sorry. Every it's like it's like PETA is like one of those groups when every time they open their mouth, just shit comes out. Yes. And they don't realize it because they just have this ego, you know, just stupid. We're stupid. right about everything. Animals need to be saved. No, they don't. Not all of them. Do we really actually, need pros? You know actually, you know what's really funny is I put up a picture online uh, from 4chan. Every day, thousands of innocent plants are killed by vegetarians. Help in, help end the violence. Eat bacon. And I absolutely agree. <laughs> <laughs> this little piggy went to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and this little piggy went all the way into my gut. And this little piggy went... <laughs> You know, because that's a <laughs> creeper. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a creeper too. <laughs> uh, Anyways, uh, next story. Um, I, have you ever heard of um, IGN's little um, tournament that they throw? Their little gaming tournament called IPL. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I really don't care. It's the IGN Pro League, mm -hmm. and they were supposed to hold IGN Pro League Six at the end of this month in Las Vegas. Well, literally. Three days ago, as of this airing, they canceled it. At the last second. Really? How come? They didn't want to lose money. Mm. I'm so, okay. You know how many people got... You know, you know I'm, I'm like wondering how many people got seriously fucked over because of this. Because it's like, it literally, like, if you get a, a flight, you like, the, if you, you have to cancel it a month before... Yeah. Well, guess what? Those people are fucked. But I mean, it's Vegas, though. So I mean, you can. There's lots of things to do in Vegas besides the, you know, just a little tournament. Tournament, yeah. Game. Yeah, tournament. yeah. I mean, hey, it's Vegas. It's but Vegas. Still, like, if, but like I said, if I was like one of the qualifier guys who was like going there from like Korea, 
Man, I would I would start flipping desks and punching shit, man. And uh, there's th there's something for Koreans too. There's something for everyone in Vegas. Yeah. You just gotta know yeah. where to look. <laughs> I know where. To... You've been yeah, to know where to look. Have you been to Vegas? Because I know you're not. You're from the other side of the country, but. Yeah, I've never been to Vegas. It's amazing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I th we we pl we actually thought about going to Vegas um, to go to the, to the Electric Daisy Carnival. Okay, okay. But that did, but that didn't work out. Mm. Anyways, that is the end of the Overshield News Desk, and time to move on to the middle segment. The middle segment um, is uh, concerning with uh, a certain reboot. Lately, uh, lately, there seems to be a lot of games getting rebooted. Recently, the uh, the Thief. Thief was re revealed to be getting a reboot for next-gen consoles, and I've seen some of the uh, the leaked screenshots, and it looks very pretty. Definitely looks next-gen, and I'm excited because like it's bringing back a little neat genre of gaming that's been lost over a course of time, and that's kind of the, the whole stealth gameplay. Even Assassin's Creed, I think, has lost that. Eh, well, yeah, I guess I. It's the height. Everyone can agree that Assassin's Creed 2 was really the best. Yeah, and then, uh, and then they also got the Tomb Raider reboot, which just came out recently, um, which I'm doing my review of. Okay. Uh, hint, hint. It kicks ass. Awesome. Good to hear. I'm I'm jealous because I want to play that game. Yeah, I, I think I think Nate, Nathan Drake has found his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's it's I, I'm not lying when I say like uh, I'm I mean like even though my review is not out yet I mean you'll you'll hear like all the details and everything but just know that it is good and for me as of right now it's my game of the year as of right now wow okay but obviously it's, Tomb it's, Raider it's, came first and then Nathan yeah, Tomb, I mean because I know there's some yeah. people that are gonna say it's an Uncharted ripoff. Yeah, well, Uncharted kind of... Yeah, rips, Uncharted, yeah, rips yeah. Tomb Raider, so... I'm, I'm gonna say this. Uncharted is nothing original. No, yeah, it's not original. It, but it, it's like... It, it, like, it's like, yeah, we're probably gonna get fine for this, but, like, Uncharted is nothing original. But what it does, it does very, very well. Mm -hmm. And I'll give it that. Tomb Raider, the new one? Similar. It's, it's It definitely feels Uncharted-esque, but... It's but like what can I say? It, it's a Tomb Raider game, but it's a little bit more set PC and cinematic, and it feels it's it's definitely very uh, it's a very pretty game. Yeah, it looks very pretty from the now. Now with all these reboots going on, what reboot would you want to see? Who? Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. Soul Calibur. Really? I would like to see a Soul Calibur reboot. You want, you think Soul Calibur should be redone? I think so. I mean, I know they try to they try to continue it in Soul Calibur Five, and I know there was um, Namco just had was just being a dicks to uh, Project Soul, and they just like only a fourth of the game was done. Like the story mode was gonna be longer. Like each of the characters were gonna actually have a purpose. They're not just there. Um, like I know they try to start somewhere fresh, but I think, in honest to good, I think they just need a nice fresh reboot because the, what they need is a new publisher they probably do i mean because it would be nice to like see the origins again um like in an actual story mode because when you play the soul cover games from like soul blade yeah, to I... soul cover 4 like each of the characters had their own story but there was never really a main story you have to read the main story in like um that and i also was i'm oh, sorry i just want to say i'm not I'm a, i also wasn't a fan of the fact that they did away with like 90% of the franchise characters in, in the new one. Mm -hmm. Like you knew they were kind of out of ideas so they wanted to like, they took a giant leap of faith to try hopefully bring it forward. And I gotta admit, I mean, I, I did like this story and I'm, and this, I know the sales didn't really do well so I doubt there'll be a Soul Calibur 6 for at least maybe a very long time. So, so, some, for quite some time. For quite some time, which is a same, which, which I can't talk. Which is a shame because I do like the franchise, and I think to save it, it might need a reboot. It might because I know they're trying to continue the story of Soul Calibur Five, and I, it has a good direction, but we're not going to see that story, unfortunately. So I think it's just best to reboot it. You know, introduce the characters, their origins. It'll be nice, in the with the updated yeah. graphics, 
things. I think it's just, I think it's necessary. No, I agree with you. And Soul Calibur, like, for me, like, Soul Calibur 2 is, like, to me, the pinnacle of the, the la of last gen's um, fighting games, like the GameCube and stuff like that. That was, to me, that was the pinnacle of fighting games at the time. And I mm -hmm. still play it to this I day. Agree, it's, one of my, it's, one, it's one of my favorite games, and I love it. That and Link is a fucking badass. Um, but if I, let's see, for me, God, I'm gonna have to say the Rareware games. Oh, okay. Like, like Perfect Dark, Banjo Kazooie, Conquer, Killer Instinct. All that needs to be redone. You gotta pick one. You you told me one. I know. Yeah, one. God, that's 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 hard to pick. But <laughs> I gotta go with Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Okay. Oh. Because okay. I I I really think because like oh yeah Banjo Kazooie is I I love Banjo Kazooie to death, but there's just something so charming about Conquer's Bad Fur Day. It's it's like to me it's it's like it's one of the most. It's one of those games where like you would not expect it. Like when you pick the game up and you popped it in, oh cute squirrel. Within the first five minutes, you're like, wow, I was not expecting this to be a drunken escapade <laughs> at all. <laughs> Like a fat bee hit, like there's like this great big fat king bee. Oh, I'm just trying to get with this big breasted sunflower gal. What? <laughs> and like, it's like literally, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta reach higher places by bouncing off the sunflower girl's breasts. It's, it's like, what the f It's like one of those like games that's so charming and so out there and so vulgar that you just can't help but love it. And I really, and I think it would be uh, the Cole Conqueror's Bad Fur Day reboot. Like the Conquer Live and Reloaded for the Xbox, I thought that wasn't handled very well. Like, yeah, the, the game was prettier, and, 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 and but they but like a lot of the sense, a lot of the things was like uh, the censorship was like really high on that. Like literally, half half of the dialogue was beep 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 beep. <laughs> it it, it kind of pissed me off. That and they they cut and that and they uh, the multiplayer sucked 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 sucked. The 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 N sixty. If you're gonna play Conquer. Get the N64 version. Problem is that the carts, if you're going to get a cart, it's right around $70. So the game itself is hard to find. It's very collectible. But it, I highly recommend playing it. So, like, I would love to see that game come back. Because it's something that's very different, and I think the gaming industry needs something like that. No. I, I, think, I, think, I think the people need Conquer. Okay. Conquer for president. Conquer for president? All right. Yeah. I don't know what was it like. John Tron was just like he says like, how hard could it be to make a a conquer story? Con it was like a next conquer game. Conquer does PCP and ends up in some wacky world. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Any anyways, that's the middle segment. Um, do we have a uh, people doing stupid shit going on? I am looking. I am looking. I can only find one that I think is just hilarious. Funny. Anyways, it's time for my favorite segment, your favorite segment. It's time for people doing stupid shit. Hit the music. <laughs> that one. Okay. Yeah, I've been I've been looking for stories throughout this whole um, conversation podcast, but uh, I only found one good gem. Oh shoot! And. It is in our favorite state. Florida. America's foreskin. <laughs> we need to get April do a song for that. We probably will. Should we get the banjo? She plays banjo. We can... Yes, we need to get a banjo because that kind of represents the, the stupidity of Florida. All right. Not saying, not, not saying only stupid people play banjos. I, I don't interpret it that way. Okay. Well, let yeah. me just give you the the title of this article. Naked man runs around professing his love to cocaine. Told officers he needed more. Was this man Charlie Shane? <laughs> but cocaine can be a strange mistress. Uh, cops responded to several calls on February 24th about a nude dude running through an apartment complex. One caller reported the naked man tried to get inside her car as she and her young child. Uh, this man, he's a 21 years old African-American 
um, when the police were on the side, he was very agitated. He kept screaming and yelling about cocaine. And then he got up and jumped on the hood of the patrol car. Um, when asked what was going on, uh, he told the cops, it's like, I love cocaine. And that's okay. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it? Sorry? That's it? Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, he just loves cocaine. So he just decided to go naked and tell the world that. I'm really surprised this wasn't Charlie Sheen. This is not Charlie Sheen. Really? Because every time I just think of a nude dude running around... Well, nude dude. Man, that just... I'm now thinking of, um... um Corey, Big Lebowski. Say, I'm, not, I'm thinking... Every time I hear the word dude... Dude. I think of the Big Lebowski. I'm the dude. I'm the dude. I love that movie. So, yeah. So, we got naked Jeff Bridges running around with cocaine. <laughs> um... <laughs> Anyways, that is people doing stupid shit. And it's time to move on to shout outs, our final segment. Tommy, you got a shout out? Um I do. Shout out goes to The Hobbit, which is coming out March nineteenth. I am excited to buy that movie. Alright. <laughs> My shout out goes to NakaCon and Kansas City and Overland Park. Uh next weekend. I will be there. Uh look for me. Just if you've seen there's if you've seen pictures of me, if you watched what well, we got the recent uh, Aliens Clone Marines uh, review coming up, uh, you'll see who I look like and everything. So if you see me, come up and say hi. I'll hell, I'll, I'll sign your face if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'll be there, and actually I'll be working. I'll be uh, trying to get a couple of interviews. I won't say with who, but it'll be it'll be fun. And I will also work on a kind of an overview video of my adventures at NakaCon. I will also be at Anime St. Louis and um, we'll be at uh, Screw Attack Gaming Convention. I will also be at NatsuCon. Um, more conventions to be announced as well. Very nice. Yes, this is a short podcast. But yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're kind of short on this side today because Andrew just won't stop pimping in Amsterdam. And we are tight on schedules, so this had to be quick. Yeah. Anyways, I am Corey. And I am Tommy. And we'll see you all next time, folks. Later. Later.